Değerli izleyenler basketbolda yeni sezon heyecanının başlamasına artık çok az bir süre kaldı. Anadolu Efes'te yeni transferleriyle güçlü kadrosuyla sezona iyi bir şekilde hazırlanıyor. Şu anda bizde çok değerli bir konukla birlikteyiz. Tomislav Miotovic, Anadolu Efes'in baş antrenörü. Coach, first of all, thank you very much for accepting us here. Uh, wish you the best for the new season. Uh, let's start with the new season moves, transfer uh, window. Uh, how did you prepare for the new season and what would you say about the incoming season in overall? Well, I, I thank you very much for having me as a guest uh, in this very important uh, period of the season for us, preparation. Uh, as we know, we started uh, 26th of uh, Austos and uh, we evaluate our off-season as a very successful one. We have uh, made some targeted moves that we are uh, together with our front office, with our uh, general manager, with our board, uh, we have discussed and uh, try to find missing pieces uh, that can fit well in our system. And we did so. Uh, therefore, we are very happy and very excited, uh, very eager to start with the new season. Of course, now we're in the process of uh, preparation, which is uh, very demanding, physically challenged, challenging. Uh, and our players are doing a very, very good job. The new players are doing a very nice job of trying to fit in, trying to learn the system. I spoke with the players a little bit earlier and I said, listen, when you wear an FS jersey, when you're in FS, you have to understand that you have obligation and high standards that people before us set for us. So therefore, we are inheriting something that has been done in this club uh, for many years and we need to do our job in the best way to carry on that tradition and to make people before us, people that are coming after us and people that are following us very proud and happy. In transfer window, you parted ways with Will Clyburn, Tibor Plyce and there were some other players. And now Jordan Nora, Stanley Johnson, Vincent Fouarie and Roland Simis, very important moves. Uh, what kind of differences will we will see in the new season from Anadolu FS? The newcomers that we brought to the team uh, were players that we targeted to fulfill certain missing aspects that we had last year. Tactically, tactically, um, or, or physically uh, on that matter. So we have, uh, we have uh, guarded uh, and evaluated two bigs that we needed to bring and our first main targets were uh, Vincent and, and Rolands. Uh, we were very fortunate uh, to have them and to get them early on. And then, of course, uh, we have brought two players that are maybe a little bit new uh, to European market, uh, but players with a lot of uh, potential, uh, a lot of hunger, uh, and a lot of room to improve. Uh, they're, they're, as coaches in basketball like to say, their ceiling is very high, both of them. Uh, therefore, our physicality, uh, our rebounding presence on offense and, and defensive side of the ball uh, should be uh, fulfilled in even higher uh, standard on both, on all three competitions that we're going to be playing because season is a marathon. It's very, very long, very challenging and very competitive. You talked about tradition, you talked about this club, Anadolu FS, very important basketball culture in European uh, basketball. What does it mean for you to be Anadolu FS coach after 14 years in this big club? For me, that is the biggest honor uh, that one person can have. A uh, person coming from the club, person growing up with the club, uh, and being in that position is something that, for me, it's, it's in a, in, inimaginable, uh, very, very, the highest honor that, that somebody can have. Therefore, uh, I put a lot of extra uh, pressure on myself, not on the team, but on myself, to perform and to represent that honor that I was given every day. It's not just game day, it's not just practice, it's not just, no, no, it's every day. Because you're FS coach every day. You're FS coach on the court, outside of the court, uh, in your neighborhood, uh, when, you, uh, when you're having a dinner, you're always an FS coach. So therefore, that's something that takes uh, a, lot of, uh, a lot of pride and I, I, I'm, I'm really feeding off of that pride because to me that is the biggest honor uh, I could receive. And this is honestly without any, any, other, any other hidden agenda. This is the biggest honor that I can, I can receive. Peresovic twice. Oktay Mahmutu, Ilyas Zuros, Ergin Ataman, Ivkovic, unfortunately he passed away. And did I 
forget another coach. Oktay Mahmuti. We said Oktay Mahmuti also. Ufuk Hocam. Ufuk Hocam, I mentioned. Very important coaches. Did you talk any conversation with any of them after they took over the job? And what did they contribute to you as a... As a, ma yeah. as a matter of fact, I, took, I spoke with all of them. And that's something that I'm very happy, very happy about. Of course, I spend the longest uh, amount of time uh, with, with Ergin Ojam. Uh, and Ergin Ojam gave me this, you know, amazing uh, opportunity to work with him uh, on, on this level. And he gave me so much uh, room to work, not just me, all of us. Uh, and so when this happened, uh, he was super happy, super excited still is you know uh, but in, interestingly enough that you know all of the coaches from if we go backwards uh, from all the coaches that that that that, that work with uh, with me in fs that i worked with that i worked under that i was an assistant every one of them uh, offered me a tremendous support tremendous uh, uh, encouragement even in Paris, we had an interview with uh, Ergin Ataman. Mm -hmm. He mentioned about uh, your transfer process uh, to Panathinaikos. I tried to bring him to Athens, but he said that Benny <laughs> Yeah, we had this, uh, you know, we built a special relationship, you know. It's, it's, it's very, you know, five years together um, uh, as, as coaches, as human beings, as, you know, he's, uh, he's our very, uh, the most successful coach in modern European history modern European history uh, so uh, basketball wise of course so uh, when you have somebody like that uh, uh, leading you and when you have uh, when you uh, learn with somebody under somebody like that and when you have somebody like that inviting you to go with him but he immediately understood when I told him yeah he said I understand I understand I just want you to know that there was an option and I thanked him for that because for me that's uh, that's the uh, expression of, of a great man, you know, he really offered something uh, that he meant and wanted. As soon as I told him my decision, he supported it with, with, with fully. He didn't say, ah, why come? And he said, I understand, do your best, continue with this. Coach, uh, let's talk about the team and upcoming season. Uh, keeping the Shane Larkin in the team may be one of the most important moves for you. And he signed four years contract, which is very long in terms of European basketball. Uh, how was that process with Shane Larkin? What did you talk to him? Was it hard or it was just an easy process? Shane Larkin uh, deserves to be a franchise player. Yeah. And uh, for what he's doing and how he represents us and himself, and how he feels for FS. Uh, of course, this is a big honor for us, and I think it's a win-win situation both ways. For the player who feels club like his home club, and for us as a club who feel that we have a franchise player who truly is a franchise player. Uh, I'm not considering any injuries. Besides that, can we say that Anadolu FS roster is completed? Yes, inshallah, yeah, and we don't have uh, any kind of injuries right now. We do have two, two injuries in the preparation period, but okay, these, these things happen. But uh, we hope that we will uh, not have any serious problems uh, throughout the season and that uh, uh, this will be our roster for the, for the remainder of the season. After being back-to-back -back champion, you unfortunately FS couldn't make the playoffs in the last two seasons. And when we look at the general situation of Euroleague, Panathinaikos, Olympiakos, Real Madrid, Barcelona, Fenerbahce, there are very really tough teams. Uh, how do you see the general level of the competition in the upcoming season and how hard will it be for you to be in the playoff again? Us as FS, uh, we will approach it every game like it's a final game from the beginning. And that's the only approach that can lead us to where we want to be. Our first goal is playoffs uh, and then moving on from the playoffs to the, uh, to the higher, higher goals. But uh, I repeat again, uh, I'm really hoping and inshallah that there's no injuries and there's no uh, big distractions of that side. We believe that our team can grow progressively. Nobody has a magic or at least I don't have a magic stick and I cannot say, well, right now, let's go right away. No, it takes time. You got to work, you got to progress, you got to you got to work, you got to work, you got to work and then the results will come. And I think our guys are fully aware of that because we have a core of people that are here with us from last year or last years so they know what it takes and therefore i'm very confident that uh, this team will fulfill 
uh, our expectations and this team will fulfill uh, what FS uh, expectations are. In the last part of our interview, let's talk about your life, your personal life in Istanbul, yeah. in Turkey. It has been 14 years. Yes. <laughs> you speak Turkish very well also. Very well. Nah. Yeah. yeah. It has uh, to be better. It's not as good as it should be, but okay. Thank yeah. You. How does it, uh, is it hard for you to live in Istanbul or did you get used to it, the traffic, the crowd, for in comparison me, with other European countries? For me, it's now difficult not to be in Istanbul. You or know. privilege. For me, it's not, it's, it's not, it's for me, it, when I'm out of Istanbul for a couple of days, I miss it too much, you know. So for me, you know, you're 15 years, I live in the same street, in the same department, in the same apartment, uh, you know, it's my home, you know. So for me, when I go, and it's same for my family. Of course, uh, people know or don't know. My son is born in Istanbul. He goes to uh, Turkish school. He speaks Turkish. He is, you know, so for him, his first home is Istanbul. So for all of us as a family, uh, we, are, we are very privileged, uh, very lucky, very fortunate uh, to be accepted in such a wonderful city because not too many people, uh, and I mean this from the bottom of my heart, not too many people have a privilege to live in such a, I would say, special city. Deep it, history. It's a city that has everything. Yeah. You know, uh, from historical to two continents to wonderful cuisine. But most of all, I say to people outside of Turkey, most of the things that you will find in Istanbul start from people. Istanbul has, Turkey in general, Istanbul, I'm speaking from Istanbul because I, I live in Istanbul. So Istanbul has some of the greatest and the warmest people that I have come across worldwide. They will stop, they will lead you to point A to point B. They will invite you for chai, for kahve, for something. It's, it's something that you don't expect from the megapolis. The city of 18, 20 yeah. million. It's the same in every city of Turkey. Exactly. Yeah. But again, I'm, I have to speak yeah. from the Istanbul uh, perspective. And this is something that I say and I, I, I see from my family, my wife and my son, when, when they're in Istanbul, you know, it's like, ah, you know, it's like between, for us, between Istanbul and Zagreb, we are bl blessed and fortunate that we call those, those two great cities home. Yeah. And this is something that, like I said, we take a lot of honor and pride in this. Uh, and we are very lucky and we like to show this gratitude to people on an everyday basis because only thing you can say is Teşekkürler uh, İstanbul, Teşekkürler Turkey. It's really something that, that we really we really feel and we really live like that. We also thank you for those uh, great words. You Appreciate talked it. about great cuisine. What is your favorite from this? Oh, I, I was on the, I was on the medical uh, checkup and they told me I have to take a little bit of <laughs> a little bit uh, of a diet issue. But uh, uh, honestly, I, I cannot start. I cannot say one thing, you know, because even from my neighborhood, from my my street in Yeshilurt. There is four places that I can visit daily. Uh, would it be from, from kebab, from burek, from uh, the special Turkish cuisine that, that I love and cherish so much, from the middle of Balik, you know, we have there. So we have, I cannot isolate one because it will be offensive to my other but friends. But you can create a team, maybe first five. Oh, first five, no, difficult. There's first 10 minimum. We, have 12. we go from, we go from burek, we go from, from kebab, we go from Balik, Çorbalar. It, uh, yeah, we, we should we should stop there because again my doctor is going to call and say I told you not. <laughs> so, so it's uh, really uh, for me uh, now without any uh, misunderstanding and I don't want to offend any other cuisines, but uh, Turkish cuisine has this um, deep in in in deep roots in everything. You know, so you can find touches of everything combined into one, and you go from place to place and you start, you find something that's ah. This is special for here. This is special for there, and you just eat special, special, special, and then then you you have you know. Actually, it will be nice for you with you to go to a marketplace maybe, to buy painter. It maybe. will be it will be nice for me to go to, to marketplace. But I go to marketplaces first. I do this first. I fool my stomach. I'm I'm full. Yeah. I'm not I'm not hungry. Then I go to marketplace because if I'm hungry, I buy everything. Yeah. I buy everything. So Let, it's, let's make the next interview in in a pasar. Let's do like that. Market, yeah. Let's do like that. No problem. Yeah. No problem. Thank you very much. My it's pleasure. very nice to talk to you. Çok teşekkürler. Çok evet. sağ ol. Çok sağ ol. Değerli izleyenler, Anadolu Efes baş antrenörü Tomi Samiyotovic ile hem bir basketbol sohbeti yaptık. Son bölümde de yemeklere girdik. Gerçekten çok güzel, çok keyifli bir sohbet oldu. Kendisine yeni sezonla başarılar diliyoruz. Bir sonraki konuğumuzla yeni bir röportajla tekrar birlikte olmak dileğiyle. Hoşçakalın.